Well, I'm uh, Stefano, and uh, now I try to present to you us uh, um, how I, you can uh, use the Python to emulate hardware. This is strange things for uh, something on, uh, of you, but uh, uh, in some ways this is possible because uh, more with uh, Linux, uh, for example, it's possible to uh, use the software to emulate hardware in very uh, strict way. And so uh, also with Python, it's possible. So uh, why we, we have to emulate hardware? Why uh, this is uh, uh, a necessity, a, a, a behavior that we, we can uh, uh, have this uh, as uh, a target. Maybe because uh, uh, we have uh, a, a software that we can uh, uh, test, we can have to test, but uh, this software run in a specific target. I work with embedded, so if I wanted to test a software for an embedded target, I have to emulate also the hardware of this embedded device. So, uh, what I can do? I can, uh, for example, for testing connection code in a desktop computer um, with a Wi-Fi or GSM network, I have to buy a, a dangle to have this functionality. But uh, it's not a true way to do this. Why I have to check if uh, this connection code work? Because uh, it's uh, uh, powerful to have uh, a, a connection code in an embedded device that works very well. Because if you have uh, some problem with this code, your device uh, is uh, unusable. And also with the battery. How I can check if a battery is low? I, I, I can uh, pop up uh, a notification to the user if the battery is low in my desktop computer that I can have any battery. So I, what I can check. And also with other devices that can, can be connected to, to an embedded device or already present in an embedded device uh, like a GPS uh, or uh, uh, like another tracker tools that are common uh, like uh, uh, um, uh, some some uh, um, specific device that are connecting to your body. And uh, uh, all this, uh, you can uh, test uh, your software using Python. Ma but uh, in which way? The standard Linux architecture here is very simplified, but uh, in the at the bottom, you have the hardware that is connecting to kernel. The kernel uses as a functionality um, after uh, 2.6 that is called iNotify. iNotify is uh, a, a module of the kernel that, com uh, that uh, thanks to this module, it's possible to connect, uh, to check if something is connecting to the real computer and get a notification immediately. Also with devices that are not a, a real device, but emulated one. And uh, so when I connect uh, a, a periphery or I change a file of a system, I notify can detect this if you enable this functionality of the kernel. In the upper level, in the in Unix system, in Linux system, you have uh, some daemon that are running. One of them is this dbus. Dbus is used commonly to uh, send messages from an application to another, but also by the system daemon, also like uh, upower. Upower is the daemon that generates uh, all the signal from the, your battery to your system. And dbus is the, uh, the message bus that is used by this program. Also, UDEV, UDEV is used when you connect a pen, do a pen dongle to your computer. It generates a UDEV message that you run again on the bus. And on the top of this, you have your software to test. So you can uh, emulate this hardware. How? 
the software to test is connecting not to your real hardware, but bypass by kernel. Other utilities I will show in previous slide, uh, they are the bus and uh, UDEV. But UDEV you can emulate. Why? Because it's connected to the bus. So I can emulate UDEV behavior using me the bus messages. So uh, it, uh, I can try to detect when the application want to retrieve data from a device using iNotify, because iNotify can permit me to say, OK, I'm reading from this file. This file is a device. The device is not present. I created this device. It's not a problem. And then uh, also, you power generate uh, the message from the batteries uh, from your power supplier. OK, I can sniff this information for a real hardware, a real battery, and then regenerate with the bus mock. This bus mock is only a library that can uh, help you to create this uh, uh, simulation that are in higher level, because uh, it's not a kernel driver emulation. It's only a software uh, using the bus message. And so what are the libraries we can use in Python to use this functionality for Linux? Uh, sure, PyNotify is a library that is connected directly to this module of kernel. They are available in all Linux kernel uh, to the 2.5 and uh, uh, permits in a simple way to use uh, uh, iNotify in an easy way. Then the bus Python that is abiding from library the bus, they are included in a lot of distribution because a lot of program in a distribution of Linux uses the bus Python to manage and create software they are based on. Python the bus mock is a collection or template to generate emulated hardware. So inside of this library, this is only a collected library on top of the bus, uh, you have uh, a uh, network manager device that uh, can create a network, uh, a wireless network, or uh, a power template that can create a battery and power supply uh, real s s simulator hardware. And then PyUDEV. Why they why? Because uh, when you want to investigate how works uh, on uh, real hardware, you have to sniff to monitor with UDEV. UDEV uh, with PyUDEV, you can control uh, UDEV with Python and then so uh, monitor each device. Why? Be because uh, uh, an hardware used to send messages uh, to the system using UDEV. So, with this uh, PyUDEV, you can uh, see all messages that arrive from a device. So when it's connected, when it's disconnected, when, when, when uh, data reach the system, and, uh, and so on. And so this is uh, first the bus service. You can create uh, in a uh, few lines. This is only using the bus library. So the binding of uh, the bus library that are included in the bus project. Uh, so they are maintaining the same version. So with this library, you have no problem if the bus is higher version that uh, you are binding. They are maintaining the same. And uh, so w what you can see, uh, you can create a test service uh, using the session bus default that is uh, for user. There are two system session bus in the bus, system and user. The default, if you run your uh, uh, program uh, without any parameter, it creates a bus in user space. Um, and uh, if you want to create, recreate a daemon like uPower, you have to remember that uPower creates a system service. So you have to use the, the bus like system. And then uh, you can uh, create a service uh, 
uh, with your path, the bus is uh, uh, create a path like a Linux standard, so a folder with a service and a service name. And then uh, there is a simple function, listen, to uh, create a loop to maintain this server. This is a debug server, so it's like a daemon that listen for each request you receive. And then you have the function. So the function is test service hello that returns only the word hello world. And this is what you can create with a template. So with the bus mock, you have a template. Uh, we can join to the bus the functionality of what you want. So you can create a network manager device like this. You can create a, a Wi-Fi adapter. So if you have a specific, uh, specific spe specification of uh, an hardware, you can recreate uh, with this uh, library. So you can, uh, uh, you can attach a virtual Wi-Fi adapter to uh, Network Manager, and then add access point. Uh, if you want to try the scan, this is possible now, because you can recreate your Wi-Fi network without a Wi-Fi dongle. This is very cool. Also, we can recreate the customer problem with a specific uh, network because you can create this network with uh, uh, the same key, the same uh, protection, the same encryption, and then check if uh, it's a, a hardware problem or a software problem, a uh, network manager, for example. And then uh, you can create the connection so with, uh, with a simple uh, command, you can uh, establish the connection with your fake uh, access point, and so on. This is also useful for uPower. With uPower, you have this, the same mock. So you have uh, the possibility to create a battery with the same specification. So we can check all the specification of battery with the bus monitor and then recreate with uh, all the specifications, so the, uh, the duration of the battery, the, the state of power supply, where it's connected or not connected, and so on. And what about iNotify? Um, before I say that uh, if a software check a device, uh, it access to a file, so it's open. At if you, if you have something that check that this file is open, I can run this simulation, not always, but always what is necessary. Why this? Because if uh, this is work uh, full of time, you can uh, have some uh, uh, devices that are not present, virtualized, they are always present in your system that is wrong. This, uh, I notify prevent this, so the device are created each time the software it need. So with uh, with I notify, I can detect with the path uh, which which is the device I can connect. So for example, uh, if you wanted to access to Vulan Zero, I put here the path of Vulan Zero, and then he uh, recreate all my network on the fly with the mock before I show. And uh, also for the battery, also for uh, uh, if, if I want to recreate uh, some devices that are not present in a mock, I can create a mock myself because uh, with uh, Sniff, uh, you dev monitor, I notify monitor. Uh, yes, with I notify, I can read each uh, uh, requested from a, um, a software, also by system, to a specific path, so I can uh, show when a file is created, deleted, or modified. And uh, this is very powerful because uh, uh, it's possible to have the same behavior of hardware device without anything, without anything else. And so this is uh, what uh, you can do with uh, hardware emulation in Python. 
And uh, this is a, a small example of what you can do, but uh, uh, the possibility is very, very, um, uh, you can reach uh, everything. So if uh, you have a device that you cannot uh, have, but you have the specification, so you, or you have only the data sheet, you can only recreate this also with Python. And this is very cool. Thank you. Any question? <clears throat> um, having a, a DBus message was, which claims there is an interface um, does not create the interface. So um, how does it help? In, in, in case of network, you, you can create a DBus message and claim now you got connectivity, but you still don't have connectivity. Uh, the connectivity is not a problem. Uh, you, in, uh, the network connectivity is not a problem because if your system is connected to Ethernet, you can uh, use this network. This is only an uh, emulation of uh, other devices that are not existent. But when you create uh, a ping or whatever in your network, it go forward a real network. So network manager, is deviated by something, but uh, uh, in your program, in your emulation program, you can uh, say, okay, we create all the network, but when we receive something request for a network connection, we redirect it to a real one. So it's not a real problem. Uh, I accept the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any more questions? If, you, if I understood you correctly, your main purpose was to uh, test hardware parts that are not available or that are rather hard to influence that they have this condition that you actually want to check with your program. Therefore, your field was embedded, I assume? and using embedded Linux, and using a normal Linux to basically test the whole stuff. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, used for uh, uh, testing uh, software for uh, embedded target. So uh, we need to recreate some hardware specific in a desktop computer. So we recreate some hardware device that are not possible to attach to a desktop computer. Another question? Uh, do you also intend to build a virtual library for that, or a library of virtual devices? Which, uh, yeah, it's possible. It would be to very nice to have a, a range of devices uh, yeah, virtualized. Uh, uh, in, the, in this library, the bus mock, there is uh, a lot of uh, examples. Uh, but uh, yes, it's not very well documented. Uh, this is uh, inside there is a network manager device, uh, U power, uh, and uh, other system based uh, recreatable devices. But uh, yes, it's not very well documented. But uh, yes, it's possible to create the same library, maybe in future, yes. Any other questions? Then thanks a lot for your talk. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> uh, have you tried uh, to use this library with uh, when you interact with some proprietary hardware uh, that runs only on Windows and you have like VirtualBox or VMware? And uh, would it be possible to to sniff? Uh, some of these uh, events through this library, would it be useful? Yeah, if you use uh, some uh, emulation, it's not a problem. Because uh, in a virtual box, for example, if you attach a USB device, you can attach directly to the virtual machine. So you can sniff uh, in a simple way.
Yeah, yeah, it's not a problem. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your talk.